Okay, so I'm going to assemble the pitch joint. The pitch joint mount has got four pieces, two sides, a bottom and a top. The top is set up to handle the servo, bottom is set up to handle pin to allow the next joint to swivel. The sides are keyed and so are the uh, top and bottom are keyed so you can only put them in one way, the right way. Um, you can't do this obviously, it won't work. So to do this, what we're going to do, uh, take the glue and I'll put a drop of glue inside these uh, valleys here and then we'll put the uh, top piece on top. We're going to do the same thing with the bottom. So it's fairly straightforward. And that's it. Okay, so in this step, the pitch mount that I did in a previous video is dry. And now what we're going to do is mount the servo into the, into the mount. So to do this, you need two number four half-inch long screws, the nuts that go with them, the servo arm that goes on the top, or servo horn, one of the Tower Pro micro servos, pliers, screwdriver, and a 1 8 inch drill bit. Now, one thing I've noticed is that the Tower Pro servo holes, mounting holes, aren't wide enough for a number four screw, or even a number two for that matter. So what I do is I ream them out a little bit to widen the hole, and then they'll fit just fine inside the mount. So let's take a few seconds. I would definitely recommend doing this by hand. Don't try to do this with a power tool because you can shatter the tabs very, very easily uh, with a power tool. You just want to work your way through this. It takes a few passes. There it is. Then I try to back turn it a little bit to widen the hole. All right. Now this will easily go in right there. Okay, so to install this, what we'll do is we'll slide the servo underneath through the bottom here of the mount. Okay. Go up. Drop the bolt in through the hole. Line up the nut. There you go. Turn this so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, actually, there's several ways to finagle this. It looks like the best thing is to stand it up like this and then slide in. What I do is I not quite tighten it, flip it over, do the same thing from the back. Drop the nut in there. Then we'll finish tightening this one up here. And that's it. The servo is now mounted inside the pitch joint. We'll put the horn on top. Now eventually we have to power this up with the Arduino to make sure it's actually centered. We don't know what default position the factory has sent the servo when they shipped it to us. So we'll power it on in a future step to make sure we can get this perfectly lined up.